Hopefully this angle is okay because I can't tell. Um, well, that's my first time speaking in the vlog. Testing for project intro. So here is what I have so far. So I finished the front panel, the back panel's finished, and I just finished the last panel for the front. This looks so tiny, but it's actually not. I think when it blocks out, it'll look a little bit bigger. Look at that stretch, though. <sighs> I'm, like, in love. Like, this stretch is really, like, wide. And it's going to block really nicely. So now I am about to um, put it together with this one. I just have to put this together. And instead of um, sewing, because I hate sewing... I got my crochet hook because I'm gonna just crochet the sides together. I have to see how many squares I have to go up. But yeah, so then I just have the sleeves and the button band. And I just have to weave in all the ends and I'll be finished. Shoot. Yeah, so I'll be finished. Hopefully I can start on the sleeves. I'm mostly gonna be able to start on the sleeves today because it's like not even. I think it's like barely five o'clock, I think. I don't know. But yeah. I definitely can finish this within either the next day or two. Tuesday is probably going to be like, it needs to be finished, finished. Um, like, it needs to be blocked that day. No later than Wednesday, because I know my procrastination behind will be like, I'll just do it tomorrow. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and connect this, um, connect this panel to it and then I'll go ahead and crochet the sides together as well and then I don't know if I want to do the button band next just to get out the way because I hate button band and I hate picking up stitches I don't know I'm kind of thinking a little far ahead I'm not even there yet so yeah also i did not show the yarn that i was using Jeez louise okay so um i was in daytona and um we found this yarn it's 65 percent silk and 35 percent cotton it feels amazing i would say it does split very easily though so just heads up this was called kari flex um it's the color purple 
but it's um, 0621 and it says it's a weight 4 and you should use like a 5 millimeter I think crochet hook and then four and a half millimeter knitting needles is which actually what I use I didn't even look at this I just grabbed knitting needles and like that's gonna work um, so yeah so I got this it was in a 10 pack for $26 which was not bad love the yarn um, I still have like four skeins left plus this one too so I still have quite a bit left and then I also got this Corinne yarn it's um, also got it while I was in Daytona. It doesn't say what it is. Oh, no, it does. Okay, so it's 60% silk, 30% cashmere, and 10% acrylic. Wow, no wonder. This is, like, really soft. I also got this while I was in Daytona. I think I got four skeins, but I probably could have easily just got two. But, um, I don't know. My mom said she wants socks, so I think I'll just make her some socks with this color. Um, I don't know if I'll have this left. If I do, I could probably see how much I have left then I can make socks with it I don't know that's a future problem that's not a right now problem so yeah and this one actually for a I think crochet hook it says oh just for crochet hook um it doesn't have a gauge for knitting needles but the crochet hook is recommending 3.25 I accidentally used 4.5 millimeter needles for the ribbing and I didn't realize it till I was already finished with the back and I was not going to go back and change. I was just like, that's just how it's going to be. It comes out nicely, so I think it'll be fine. But yeah, I used the 4.5 millimeter needles for that, for the ribbing part. And it's also going to be the button band. So yeah, I'm almost finished. Yeah, I can't wait to be finished. I'm ready for the, I'm ready for my next project. I've been really planning out my knitting projects now, even though I still have markets um, I still have some market prep to do, which I don't have that much. I won't even do any of it because it's too lazy. I have a concert to worry about in April, so let's no market prep for like
melody. Yeah, I knew it. She got the matching pants too. Put your leg out. Fit for Walmart. Ah. <laughs> literally this saturday and i wanted all of us to have like crochet or knit like outfits i finished my mom's i literally just have to block it and sew on the buttons but i'm too lazy to make the content for it so i'm gonna hopefully see if i can do it like last minute content or whatever i'm gonna have to do it so yeah when i started okay also another thing so i finished my mom's stuff go to my dad i was supposed to be making a hoodie one that was gonna take way too long two too hot so why would i got a hoodie so we're starting something new here's i just literally just finished the ribbing here's the gauge swatch that i did i tried to find a pattern for this top picture i'm gonna insert it right here from a um i don't know if he's a youtuber or he does i watch a lot of me and my dad watch a lot of his shorts so on youtube um i like his videos and stuff and he saw that the top and he wanted me to make it so here's the swatch for it. it has been blocked measured and everything i can't find a pattern for the shirt so i have to make it myself i'm taking notes and kind of um writing it as i go um on my phone because i think i do want to make it as a pattern um i don't know normally don't do too well but who knows doesn't have to try but yeah so i'm working on that i'm about to do the color switch for the eyelid part so i'm really excited about that so yeah i think this is going to be a quick knit which is perfect i'm hoping to get this done depending on how fast i can knit the front pin after because i have to do two front panels the back panel and then the sleeves so when i finished this today and i just started it today like maybe an hour ago i think or something like that so if i can finish maybe a quarter of it of it tonight maybe we'll see man i don't know i'm thinking about it I don't know. We're gonna see. But I'm about to switch.
okay here's how far i got today um i finished with this part of the white i finished an eyelet of a white and i just did the second one so now i'm going to um do stock and knit of four rows and then the next eyelet i have five eyelets to do so hopefully this does not make it too long hopefully so yeah i'm trying to finish maybe try to finish this by today or tomorrow no today i really want to finish this front panel today and i still have to work today so mm. also i still have bought the pattern from my outfit so it's gonna be some late nights this month for this last week in april and i still have my lunch it's literally only 27 I mean, if I don't finish mine, I can always do it all the way and finish it before. So, it's not that bad, I guess. Okay, I don't know what I got myself into, but I'm not ready. So.
I know I'm late, but we're here at the concert. We'll early access. So we got mom, mom got mystery. Be careful with it. So we're seeing what we got. <gasps> oh, I like that one. We have that one already, but I love that one. It's because it's wearing blue. It's 21. Okay, and then I gotta do this one. We have that one, so we have three of them. I wanted that one. That's the one I wanted. Can I have that one? Okay. Wow, lighting is terrible, but oh well. We're back home. We finished the concert. Um, Queuing some photos somewhere in here, maybe before or after. We'll see some pictures and videos. I think we'll probably try to do it before. If not, they're right here um so yeah the concert i already got my pajamas on because i'm home now we're not going on anywhere um to the concert it was so good it was really really good i really enjoyed like literally everything like it was literally amazing um it was at a bar but it was like able to fit like quite a bit of people um i think there was like maybe close to 100 people and there were like still people coming in because they were like having like a rave afterwards my social level was down already so and we were trying to get day wings before they closed so we had a, we bounced early but i was able to go to the meet and greet that they had um today actually because today is the 28th 7th something like that um and we did get to go to a meet and greet which was really nice i got to um talk with them for just a little bit before we had to hit the road to come back to jacksonville so yeah it was really fun i always have fun every time i go see them so it's just like it's always been a good experience and i feel like it just gets better so i also did see quite a bit of people that i knew um and i got quite a bit of compliments on my top and my outfit my dad got quite a bit of compliments on his uh, shirt too as well so yeah, I really had fun. Um, and I know we can't wait for the next one. Next is ATs, so let's hope your girl can get to it. <laughs> Anywho, I also want to show what I've been what I made so far, like what I made on the trip. Because I, I didn't make too much, but I made a decent amount. Because we only well we were only in Tampa like in Tampa for like Saturday and then we got there like Saturday afternoon. Then we went to the concert at Rave. And so Tampa from us is like about a three hour drive. So we did all that in like one night. And then the next day, Sunday, today, um, I don't know why I turned off I turned off my alarm clock, but I don't know why my body woke up at 7 30. Disgusting. I wanted to sleep in, but whatever. I got breakfast, so it's fine. Um, so yeah, I didn't do too much crocheting, but I like other crocheting for my markets. Um but it really wasn't my focus. I was kind of just crocheting just to have something to do with my hands because just sitting there is boring to me now. So I can't like, I need to have like to do something. So yeah, so here's one thing I made. It's It was supposed to be a like bottle holder, but it's too big. So it's a bag now and I think it's so cute. Um, one of the like organizers um, today at the at the um meet and greet he was like you don't have any yarn on i was like i do i have this bag i wear this bag i low-key want to keep it but i don't know if we can use it so i think it should definitely be sold to somebody else who definitely would use it so that's what, the one thing i finished and it took me i think basically that whole entire trip i think well no because i also crocheted like some little hearts which i didn't get any pictures of that um little heart keychains that go that go with my mom's key fobs that we made for um, the MC, and then we made for Black on the Artist, and then we also made it for Toshi as well, too. So I did crochet those three things first. 
but I did take a lot of breaks because again that was my main thing um so yeah so that was the first thing I finished and then the next thing I finished was this top we love it has like a little corset in the back this one's this is literally my favorite top I've ever made um if it doesn't sell I'm okay with that there are some things that if they don't sell I'm very okay with because I would love to see it and keep looking at it I would never wear this out that's a lie I would I wouldn't but I wouldn't wear it often for me enough to keep it so that's also a lie yeah I would um I think I'm just making up excuses just to sell it but yeah I really like it it was my first time well not my first time but it's my first time in a while that I've been done with corset and it's I miss I it doesn't it's not that it doesn't it's not even but it's not like extremely noticeable so Maybe I can sell it. I don't think it matters. It's handmade. So, it be fine. so yeah, this is a top I made and I'm obsessed with it. As you can tell, I've been obsessed with making like these tulips. Um, I literally want to do it in everything, but I know it's not for everyone, so I don't want to do too much because I'll be stuck with it. And I don't want to be stuck with too much stuff because for clothing wise, I'm a knit girly, so I prefer to knit my clothing. Um, I also started on shots with out right here. I also started on this hat with my pattern, my heart, queen of heart pattern. Um so yeah, so I did this. I just have it went in Sweden. But I lost my darning needles so yeah. I have more. I can always buy more. They're not that expensive. Also lost a few stitch markers. Again, I could buy more. So it's just like oh well. Um so yeah. I have two more squares at the top and the ruffles so yeah. That's about it. That's what I made. Yeah. I'm pretty proud of myself though. So be proud of me too. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's all I did. I think I'm gonna end this vlog out here. I didn't get any footage of like the like me crocheting anything. Cause I guess that wasn't really the point of this video. It was um me trying to get the outer outfits, me and my dad's outfits done. I was staying up so late to work on his top, getting my outfit done last minute, having to change up the idea that I want to do. Turned into, a, actually, I really like this idea um, of how I already, ha like, I made it. And I really, really liked this. So it was just, like, I really liked the outcome as well, too. Um, with the pattern that I did buy um, that I was going to use for this concert, I definitely still do want to make it. I think I'd probably get me a little bit more nicer yarn, though. Um, so yeah, so definitely love the outcome, loved my outfit, and, um, everybody was so nice. I met some new people, and they were really sweet, so yeah, it was so fun. Just, it was just a great weekend, and it was nice to just get out the house, just do something, um, relaxing, especially because we have a crap ton of markets coming up, so it was definitely good to kind of just relax a little bit before we have to do like a lot of um like extra stuff so i know tomorrow i'll be working on my market prep um so yeah but this might be prepped for a market that i don't even know if i got in so yeah just in case but i feel like they can still fit in my market so it's just like okay so yeah i'm rambling now because i haven't talked in a vlog in a long time so yeah and I also haven't edited in a long time, so I'm really slacking. Um, so I think tomorrow, since I'm off of work, I think I'm going to take some time and play and catch up on my videos. Um, I know I missed... I know I haven't edited, like, my past markets. I have footage for it, but I just... I just didn't get the chance to... I just... Not didn't get the chance. I just didn't put my force myself to edit, so... I need to do that. It's going to be, like, so late, because I was, like, at the beginning of April. We're almost at the end of april so yeah but that means i will have maybe three or four videos out almost at one time so who knows who knows who knows so yeah but thank you for watching this video i appreciate all the support from everybody oh i also have really really good news oh my gosh i have two website orders ah! yes i have two website orders i will not be doing a packing video because that's going to be a really really short video but i will be doing like a reel and a tiktok video as well so if you want to check out my socials down in the link in my bio so those are going to be there um 
so yeah i got my first two orders and i'm so happy oh i'm so excited oh actually the hat's right here so this is one of the orders that she ordered i love this hat so much um so yeah this is one of my favorites hopefully it fits well hopefully it's like nice and comfy but yeah this is literally one of my favorite hats and it's going so it's fine i guess it's okay but yeah so that's all for this video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye